Blue State Digital is a firm born from the Obama 2008 campaign. It creates progress-driven digital products for politicians like Barack Obama, nonprofits like the It Gets Better Project, and companies like Google. Something comes down to the name. You guys are Blue State Digital, not Red State Digital. Yeah, yeah. And so you guys are drawing a line in the sand in terms of some of the clients you take. Especially on the, the politics end of it, we would not work for someone whose values don't come close to our values. And these are the things that we care about, fairness, facts. You can't talk about a lot of your work, I know. Nobody working with, within politics can. What can you talk about? When I heard of Obama, I was like, I want to work for that guy. Especially when I saw the website and the design work that was coming. This campaign looked different and paid attention to design, like true design, than any other campaign that I'd seen. So we have the famous Made in the USA mug. This was the first piece of merchandise on BarackObama.com. So this is, came out soon after Donald Trump had started his birth certificate. So Obama had a birth certificate. <laughs> Certainly did. The most popular <laughs> piece of merchandise in the 2012 campaign. Wow. I feel like fundamentally good design is often just transparent or straightforward and that's probably hard to attain right now politically. Even in the best of circumstances it's hard to maintain because you know government works more slowly than agencies do. It's not a very entrepreneurial ecosystem. It takes a lot of trust, it takes a lot of proving yourselves, and it takes a lot of time to kind of build up those relationships to be able to do that work. This project is from a group called Freedom to Marry. They were one of the largest groups working towards marriage equality. This was everything from the Love Must Win campaign, which was super popular. The objective of this organization was to get marriage equality passed in the Supreme Court and go out of business. And so we successfully helped them go out of business. <laughs> A great success story. Yes. So when you look at the Trump Make America Great Again hats, horrible design, very successful design, what's your takeaway? The basic thing is uh, empathy. When his team was thinking about that hat, and they were thinking about the people who would wear that hat. The people that wore that hat are people at like car racing outside in, in the South, it's hot. Like It's like something that like you put on your head because you want to, regardless of what it says on it. You're kind of creating this product that is actually useful. A functional garment. A functional that's like, garment. That's like hardcore design yeah. 101. The Hillary campaign also had hats and visors and sun visors and stuff like that, but they had like everything. Looking at all of those sort of trends and how they played out, what does a presidential campaign of 2020 look like to you, a successful formula? Do we know yet? From a design standpoint, it, ma it, it matters much less than the actual candidate. The actual candidate needs to be able to lead their campaign in a way that they kind of <laughs> are, are excited about it. Like I think like Bernie did a great job at that, although the design was just kind of blah. You know, Hillary's design was like a, as high-minded as, as you might get. So I think for 2020, we're not gonna know until we know who the candidate's gonna be.